Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thanks for joining me today. And today we're gonna make some Valentine cupcakes. So I pre-made my cupcakes. I did some regular size ones and I also did some little baby ones. They're so cute, guys. And these ones you can just pop right in your mouth. So I love those ones. You don't have to mess with the paper or taking a few bites. It's just a one biter. I have some white frosting. You can use any white frosting you have. And I have some maraschino cherries and some sprinkles and some my sweet chocolate or any kind of chocolate. We're going to melt the chocolate, dip the cherries, and we're going to put them on top. And they're going to be so cute, so simple, so easy, and just a lot of fun. And everyone's going to love them. So stay tuned. Let me get everything set up. All right, the first thing we're going to do, these are the maraschino cherries with the stems on them. The first thing we're going to do is drain them a bit. I have the water coming to a boil for the to um, melt the chocolate while we're doing this. Oh, not many of them have stems on them. <laughs> all right, let's just get a few of them out. Okay, so here's the chocolate all nice and melted. And then I just laid the cherries out to dry a little. If you guys can see. Just gonna take the cherry and that's it. Simple and easy and put it right on the little tray here. Guys, you can't get any easier than this. You could use some um, wax paper, the sill pad, or uh, just put it on any plate. Should come right up after you put them in the fridge for a couple minutes. Look at how simple and easy this is, you guys. And so much fun. Look at that, and it's so delicious. Who wouldn't want to do this? All right, so you get the point and the hint and the tip, and hope you guys can see it good in the film, in the camera. See, just drip it and place it over here. And uh, looks like this guy needs a little bit more. He got missed. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to put all of them on, in the chocolate and put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes or they can just sit on the counter and then we'll get the frosting ready. All right, we're gonna take our vanilla frosting. It's a 16 ounce package. Let's get that open. And we're just gonna put it in this bowl. And I like to whip my frosting anyway. I usually do it inside the can, you know, like this, just beat it as best you can. But since I'm going to put coloring in this, I'm just going to put it in a bowl. Makes it easier. And what I'm going to try to do, guys, is see if I can get this. Let's just beat this a little bit first. Just to soften it up. <laughs> I'm going to try to use this to make my pink frosting and we'll see how that works and that way we'll have the flavor of the cherry juice and if not i'll add a little bit of red food coloring oh this looks perfect and it thinned it out a little so i can pipe it in my piping bag because i'm gonna try using a piping bag guys look at this so pretty of course, you could do red. I'm going to do pink. Look at that. Let's see how much looser it is now. So, I got a, a bag and a cup here. If you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to put it in there. Not a pro at this, guys. I watched my mom do this for years, but I never did it myself. I'd help her out here and there, but. There we go. Look at this. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> okay. You don't want to fill the bag too much. And then let's get our cupcakes up there. 
And then you just take the bag and go like that. Oops, it's probably right in your face, guys. So that, you know, you're not making a big mess on the outside of the bag. And then just give it a little turn. And let's see how I do. Oh my God. I see them do this on TV all the time and my mother, but I never done it. But what we have to do though, is we gotta get those cherries out of the fridge, which I forgot to do. And set it right there in the middle before the frosting dries. And we're gonna put some sprinkles and look how pretty that is. All set for your loved, for your special loved one, for Valentine or just anyone in the family, any family members you wanna sh show some love to. Oh my gosh, I love this bag. I got this from Pampered Chef. Just gonna do a few up at a time so that it doesn't dry out. It's pretty soft, but you never know. You don't wanna take no chances. Okay. <laughs> Look how fun this is, you guys. And would it just take me just a couple of minutes? I'm almost out of frosting. I can get one more. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these. Pink's my favorite color. And, oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Incredible, you guys. All right, let me um, show you guys the little baby ones. All right, also, I didn't say it, but these bags are reusable. You just um, wash them. So for these, I'm just going to go like that. Look at how easy. My <laughs> hand, they're, they're a little thin for this part. Look at that. I'm no professional. Oh, you guys know that. <laughs> oh, it's getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. But it's okay if they're running down the side anyway. They'll still look pretty. And I have some uh, pink. Just put right on top of them. It's almost empty, so I'm trying to use that up, up the rest of them. There you go. Now let me set these all up on a cute little tray and we'll have one. Okay, guys, and of course, if you don't have a piping bag, just decorate them just the same way you normally would without one and put your cherry on top, just like that. So simple, so easy, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, don't these look beautiful? I put it on my cake pedestal and I took a thumbnail already. So it's just time to have a nice bite. All right, let's try one, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's try our chocolate covered cherry first. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. And I got a little bite from the crunchies on top, the sprinkles. And let's look inside. Let's see how yummy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Let me have a bite. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> So good. I got it all over my fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you guys give these a try. So simple, so easy. Everyone will love them. And they'll think you spent hours making them and it only took us a few minutes. I made my cupcakes up in advance a couple hours ago. And then I did the chocolate covered cherries right in front of you, put them in the fridge while we did the frosting. And pretty much that was it. Simple and easy. I had a little extra chocolate left from the uh, melted chocolate. So I just put it on this cupcake and look how cute. I'm going to have that one later. 
<laughs> so make these up for your loved ones and be sure to clean up your mess because if you make these up for your loved ones and leave a sink full of dishes and a counter full of a mess, they're not going to be that happy. So get it all cleaned up pretty. Put it on just a simple paper plate. I got these little Valentine plates. You don't have to have a cake pedestal. And serve them up and enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you're new, subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, guys, and be blessed.